secret weapon guys in this video I take my new pelican kayak out looking for Bigfoot tracks on the Merrimack River here in Missouri it was a super hot day and there was a lot of people out in this specific area enjoying the nice weather I saw a lot of bass and catfish swimming around looking for their next meal the forest floor has been rock solid due to lack of rain. My thinking is I can pedal up river and look for tracks coming from out of the forest and near the banks. I didn't see any Bigfoot tracks in this area, but I did find signs of nearby wildlife such as white-tailed deer and raccoons. These drainage ditches that lead into the Merrimack River are usually used as trails by the wildlife I get in the river to cool off because the sun is magnified out on the river. I really wanted to show my viewers the Merrimack River and give them a good idea of where a lot of these Bigfoot reports have taken place here in Missouri. There has to be some tracks somewhere around here, but the river goes for miles, and I can only really check a small fraction of the area. After searching all up and down the riverbanks, I stumbled across a spring-fed creek that pours straight into the river. It's simple, the Sasquatch-like habitat diversity just as much as any other critter. So I pedal my way towards the spring-fed creek to investigate and see what else I can find. We have a little spring-fed creek right here that's pouring into the Merrimack. And you'll see this all the way up and down the Merrimack. Ooh, look at that. It's like a stick jabbing in the ground, but there's so many people here. I'm not gonna say that's Bigfoot. But um, yeah, these little creeks will pour into the Merrimack and it's a really good spot to catch fish, especially catfish or smallmouth. And they say the Sasquatch follow the waterway as well. Right here we have one waterway, which is a for sure water source for any wildlife in here. And then this waterway leads into the Merrimack. So that could be a possible trail or area where they follow game and fish. There's a lot of tracks out here, but I noticed for these burrows. I don't know what's coming out of them, but they're pretty big. Right here on the riverbank, there's one. And then there's another one. Something could totally get in there and hide and no one will see it, especially if it was jet black. But yeah, some bucks have been getting down in here. I didn't find anything too interesting here, but it was a great place to launch my new kayak and try it out for the first time. So I loaded up my gear and I searched for a new place to explore. 
I head out to some private property where I had some Bigfoot experiences years ago. To my amazement, there was a BFRO report just down the river the same day I was out kayaking. Isn't that wild? There were some tree structures up the road on my way here, but I noticed there were fresh breaks everywhere. So I know in my mind, they are around, and at this point, I have no idea that someone down the river is having rocks thrown at them. This area is more farmland compared to the public land 20 miles down river. I would say the entire stretch of the Merrimack River is active with Sasquatch activity. And that's just my personal opinion. I had to dive into the water multiple times because the sun was blazing hot. It hasn't rained for a long time and the rivers have been areas of interest lately. I feel like the Sasquatch would want to be around the rivers and waterways because everything's so dry out. I continue to pedal upstream quietly in hopes I can catch a glimpse of the all elusive Bigfoot. There's got to be a good place to find tracks here in Missouri, and there's no better place to check than the waterways. I head up river a couple more miles, and I really didn't see that many people in the area. The water here looks so cool, and the habitat is so diverse, it's wild. You know how you hear people say never call to these things because we don't know what it means. I paid the price that day calling to them and knocking. One Bigfoot pushed over a full-size oak tree, and on my side of the river behind me, another one screamed for about 7 to 10 seconds long, and it was a god-awful scream too. I mean, it was, it was loud. There's a lot of food out here. And I do believe that the Sasquatch follow the waterways, but they're probably looking for some type of food. I've already seen something here. Look at that. See the clams? That's a viable food source for for a Sasquatch. I believe they get in the rivers and they look for stuff like this. It's very possible. Here's another one. I already found two. It's a nice little meal. I don't know if it's edible for humans, but I'm sure it is. Pretty cool. I am a lot closer to a major spring that pours into the Merrimack, so the water is a lot colder up here. I start hearing what sounds like footsteps happening to the left of me, and it sounded like a big animal slithered down into the woods is the best way I can describe it. I hear the sound that I've heard before and it sounds like a fox, but I don't think it is. Maybe it's a juvenile. Yeah. Uh -huh. 